All right, so we're getting ready for the gym. I have my prolific and high volume from PE Science. Code at would save you 10%. I have a squat and deadlift day. And I have something cool that I'm actually going to be trying out. So SBD actually just came out with some new wrist wraps. We have figure eight straps, and I'll go through the differences here. We have figure eight and regular just long straps here. I'm gonna try those out on deadlift and see how they work. But I'm excited because I use straps. And I actually have a, a, an Instagram video and short on whether straps are beneficial or not. And for me, well, let's go check it out. <laughs> but long story short, it is, uh, I think if you don't use them as a crutch, meaning you don't use them all the time and rely on them, then they're very useful. If you're relying on them to lift your one rep max or your PRing in straps, that's when it starts to become a little iffy with why are you just, are you just trying to PR to PR or are you trying to gain strength to gain strength or are you using it just because maybe you're, you have a torn callus or you got to work a bit on your grip strength or you have a lot of volume, whatever it may be. Those are some of the things that you have to think about when using straps, but let's see how they work. Just got to the gym, about to hit my pre-workout. I typically take this right before I start lifting because it takes me about 15 minutes to get a good warm up in. I was just watching one of Russ, Russ's videos and he's like, he, he did one warm up <laughs> and said, that's all I do to get ready for squats. And he hit like, oh no, 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 he was deadlifting. But nonetheless, he hit a 750 deadlift and I was like, bro, I'm in New York, I'm not in Houston, so the heat isn't as bad. But like, if I warmed up like that, <laughs> my body would just absolutely snap up. I don't know about you guys, um, but I'll take you through a quick, a quick warm up routine. Again, this varies in each workout. Some exercises stay the same, but for the most part, I do vary it because the muscles, some muscles need to be warmed up more than others. So I'm starting off with squats. But let's get into the workout. Picky science, let's get it. Oh, because I do get questions about this. What's my favorite flavor? So honestly, and I'm, this is no BS guys, any flavor that they have, if it says, for example, this is strawberry kiwi, they hit the flavors on point. So if it says a strawberry kiwi, it tastes like strawberry kiwi. Not too sweet, not too sour or tart. So this is what we're sipping on today. Listening to some Drake. I just had my Spotify rap. And of course, Drake's the number one artist that I listen to. He just hits. He's got so many, like, his new stuff is good, but I really enjoy his old music or older music because he was on the come up. I feel like he's gone through phases in his life throughout rap. And I resonate more with the stuff that he did in, in previous years. So I, I really like, like Views. Views is on repeat all the time. Uh, I even listen to Thank Me Later a lot. Like the, the come up Drake when he was hungry. He was striving to be the best. He wasn't the best. Like right now, he kind of just talks his shit. <laughs> and he gets into his feelings a little bit with the relationships he's in. But like on the come up, man, he was snapping on every single track. Um, so yeah, shout out to Drake. I know I said I was gonna get a warm up in, but <laughs> I'm actually running low on time because I was just catching up with someone. <laughs> we were talking about cameras, but I talked to them a little longer than I was anticipating, which not mad at it, but 
What I'm doing right now, I have bands. We're gonna be activating the glutes here. So what I do is stand about shoulder width apart and just get in some air squats. Get about 10 of these. I don't know how many I'm on right now. <laughs> what else I do is I go external or internal rotation, external, internal, external, internal, external. And that's really helping activate my glute. And it helps with internal rotation. But really emphasize bringing in your leg here and then activating that glute when it, you're pushing your knee outward on the band. So then I'll go side to side. Again, focusing on getting my glutes firing, quads are firing, staying about nine, uh, 45 degrees. Go right, go left. And then I'll go backwards, same thing, 45 degrees. Focusing on getting my glutes activated, my quads activated. All right. So that's a quick, it's just bands, put it, I have two of them. I put one on my knee, put one on my ankle and walk around. And then I'll just do some quick Copenhagen's. I don't even know if you guys can see this. So these are called Copenhagen's. And I'll hold these for about a 30 second count. And it's really working on my adductor. I used to do these a lot for rehab because I had what was called pubalgia, which is a sports hernia. It's not the hernia where your intestines are poking through your wall inside your stomach is just slightly protruding. So it's not as bad and doesn't require surgery. And one way to help is to do some more adductor work and strength in that area. And what I'm really trying to do here is keep my hip parallel to the ground while really feeling it in my adductor, which I am right now. I'll do those for about two sets. And then another quick hip exercise I do is called the 90-90. So I just start here, really get that internal rotation, external rotation on the down leg, internal rotation on this outside leg. And then trying to keep my core tight and bring everything over to the other side here. So again, focusing on that internal rotation on this outside leg, external rotation on this leg and get a good stretch there. Now, very tight, but you should be able to get to a point where you're not even using your hands. And you just come in here like that. But I'm so tight right now, I can't do that. Ooh. Ooh. So that's my, that's my quick warm up because again, I don't have a lot of time here. So we are now getting ready to just start squatting. Let's 
something really cool I want to show you. If you checked out my last video, you saw I was in SBD HQ doing a belt launch or a product shot video shoot and they gave us gave all the athletes when the belt launched this this sleeve I guess you could say for the belt so the campaign was centric or so the campaign was really launched around respect the belt which is my slogan it's the sleeve for the belt <laughs> And by the way, this is the 10 millimeter. So it's, it's a lot less rigid than the 13 millimeter. And the belt buckle is also a bit different to help with. Uh, if they put the 13 millimeter lever on here, it would just be too big. So they changed it up and it's very, uh, it suits the belt very well. I'm also using pound plates for this workout because it makes me look stronger. My warm-ups typically just consist of throwing on a plate for each warm-up set until I get to my top set. Wow, that was the like first set that I've never felt my knee. Woo. I don't know if that last clip made any sense. <laughs> that was the first set in a very long time that I didn't have any pain in my knee. So we bumped it up. We started off with 425, now we're up to 445. We got three sets. I already did one, this is my second. Let's get it. Hey. I'm feeling dangerous, feeling dangerous. We all gotta start somewhere. Starting from the bottom, making my way back to the top. 
starts with the one set at a time, though. One set. So we're trying out the new SBD straps on deadlifts. And the first thing that I noticed is the quality of the actual material. It's a Kevlar, but it's like, it, it's still pliable to the point where it'll mold okay to the bar. And it's actually, so my other straps that I used to use were very harsh on my wrist and would give me a lot of, uh, not cuts, but just a lot of discomfort when I was lifting. And these, so far, don't even feel that way when they're on, just without any weight. So let's see how they feel when I actually lift some weight. <sighs> Oh yeah, they feel so much better. That feels good. So for this set, I just threw on another 45. We're at 495 for our working set. I'm not going to bore you with all the warm-ups, but I threw on the figure eight straps. Let's see how these feel. This is my, I, I've never used figure eights, so you and I are learning together. I at least think I put them on correctly. Let's sit up. This is how you do it. All right. Let's see how these feel. So far, I don't know if I like them, but let's see. Well, that was an interesting experience. <laughs> I've never used figure eight straps. So this is what they look like. And the way that you put it on, you put one strap here, the bar goes in first, loop it over, and then you hold the bar like that. But it just, it didn't feel the same. Like I couldn't get my grip on the bar how I would with a normal strap. So, for instance, when I have this normal strap on, you just put it on like that, wrap it around, and I can get my hand on the bar, and it's actually feeling like I can grip it. But the figure eight, it felt like the bar was just kind of hanging on the strap versus my hand. So, I can see. Maybe if you're in like strongman or something and you're really relying on the strap heavily to lift weight, I can see the utility in these. But for, for me and what I do in powerlifting, I think the regular straps are the way for me. So these are probably gonna be my go-tos, but they feel amazing. Like, look at my hand. You can see a little bit left some some blood vessels, but I think that was from the figure eight because I was relying so heavily on the strap. But with these, these feel amazing. Like, there's, 
they're not harsh on your hand at all. And the material is just, it's great. And one of the uh, guys from SBD, he actually said that he was prototyping a pair for years, I think, and they never broke. So product and I think uh, just material wise, high quality, high quality. So if you're interested, link in the description. They're live right now. I don't know how much they are. I think they're like 30 something dollars US, but if you use straps, these are the way to go. These are amazing. All right, well, I had to cluster two sets because I got to get out of here. <laughs> um, but overall, great workout, squats and deads. I had some accessories, but I'm actually gonna come back later and do those, uh, not here at my home gym. And then now I got to go back to work. But overall, great workout again, straps, on point and uh, if you're interested check the link in the bio but ah, I gotta get my fitness level back up this sucks so now we're getting into accessories um, I didn't hit them yesterday <laughs> after I was done working out so this is a completely new day completely new workout I'm hitting a bench session as well so just enjoy that i'm probably not doing any accessories that i was supposed to do yesterday i'll leave that for another video but i will give you the accessories i'm doing today i'm feeling good feeling energized i had a good business meeting this morning with one of my business partners and i haven't officially announced it but here it is this is the official announcement i guess i am launching a product <laughs> we're calling it project x i saw the mock-ups this morning and i'm very excited to to reveal everything to you guys i can't talk much about it because there's still a lot of things that has to happen but we're hoping to have product in hand in about two weeks and then launch in february next year if we can do that barring any manufacturing issues and maybe a design issue, but uh, there's a lot of behind the scenes that we're trying to get past right now, but our team is absolutely phenomenal. So I'm excited. Hope you guys are too, because it's the first physical product I'm going to be offering you. And it's, it's nervous. I'm, I'm nervous or it's nervous. It's nerve wracking. I am nervous. I am anxious, but it's like a, an exciting anxious because I don't know if you guys will like it. I like it, <laughs> so I'm hoping you guys do too. So yeah, I feel good. I'm ready to get this workout in. So this is just gonna be a quick little shoulder warm-up routine. So what I do is just do some flies. And this is just warming up my shoulders. And then, this has been really good for my rotator cuffs. So I've been incorporating these. And then some external rotation as well. And then just something quick here. So what I do is pretend and act like there's a wall, a flat wall behind me. I could do this on the wall, but I'm not. 
and just go like that with my hands. I'm already feeling the pump in the shoulders. And then I'll do some arm swings. I'll keep my palms like they're parallel to the ground. So I'll do this for 10. And I'm switching, if you can see, I switch hands. One goes above, one goes under, just like that. And then I'll go palms facing, just like that. And then I'll put my palms facing up to the ground and then do that for about 10. My bicep curls are not on point. I have to build some strength in my biceps, but we all start somewhere. I'm not mad at it. I love the pump though. So that's gonna wrap up the video. I got in a good workout, feeling pumped as hell. Got my boy Owen with me. How are you doing? Can you say something? No. Okay, a man of few words, I love it. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. If you did and you're liking the content so far, just give me that thumbs up. It reinsures that we're doing well and it helps the algorithm to help the channel grow because we want to spread as much love and positivity into the world as possible. If you're new here and you like the content, hit that subscribe button and we'll see you in the next one.